a quick video how to install top fix only toilet seat so when I say top fix I mean that you can only fix it from the top uh, traditionally you can actually pull your hand behind the toilet somewhere there and then put the toilet seat in so the uh, screw will go down there and there will be a nut uh, to do it there. Uh, this is one of the modern toilets so you can see there's no way I can get behind it um, so you can only put it on top. Uh, what, what's funny today is that I went to Screw Fix in Canning Town store and I was asking for a uh, toilet seat that could only be fixed from this sort of top um, and the staff told me that oh no there's, no, there's not one that you can fix only from the top uh, that there's only, only toilet seats they have and the ones you have to screw from the bottom and I know they don't know what they're talking about so I persisted I said there has to be one I went online screw fix searched for one myself uh, I found it and what I also did was to call screw fix national number so you go to the website and call the number on there anyway uh, this is what I got so I got this one from screw fix It's a Cook and Louis, and it's a soft closing seat. Um, cost me fifteen pound, so that's it. I've taken it out already. That's what it looks like, uh, and this are the hinges. So you don't need to screw it from behind, uh, from underneath, uh, like the staff said. They just don't know what they're talking about. Actually, this is really easy to fix. It comes with an instruction, a diagram instruction. So just follow it one, uh, two. Three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'll just do that quickly now. Uh, this comes separately. So what you want is that. That's what goes in there, and that will go underneath. Uh, so what you want to do is fix it in such a way that it's screw. So I've actually put this together. I'll just take it out. So that comes uh, with those hinges. So take that hinge, uh, put your screw through it. And then um, that cap, so that's where it's going to sit on top. So you want that on the top, and that's the cap, and that goes underneath. So that will go, that will go in first, like that, and then that will go on top of it, like that. Okay, so I'll just do a quick one. Uh, what you need to do is measure the distance between two holes right there. Uh, measure the distance between those. Two holes. Uh, the reason why you need to measure that is that um, you have to put that, that needs to align when you put the second one in. So those two, um, whatever you want to call them, will have to go into those holes that I showed you earlier. So you need to make sure that the measurement is um, right. If you screw them and it's that way and it's that way and it's too tight and it can go in, then you're screwed. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, so make sure you measure it. I've actually forgotten my tape measure, so I've used that. So I've got a letter. Uh, I've put, I've put that there. So that's my marking for the hole, and then it comes from there. So that's that's my measurement right there, roughly, as you can see. So all I need to do now is fix that. Push that in. Push that in. Uh, that could move about, those can move about. So that's the good thing about this, it can move about. And now I need to adjust them, I need to adjust them. So I'm gonna use that to, I'm gonna use that to measure. I need to adjust it. So I need to fix that. Okay, measurement aligns, so I'm going to put the toilet seat on top of it now. Okay, that aligns. Test it that it closes and that fits, so I'm just going to take it back out and then uh, screw it down properly.
screw it down. So keep tightening it. Um, the plastic underneath will kind of expand, so we should hold it up. measurements again yet yeah, still a line finished. <laughs> I need to put them down top so they can look nice and clean. So that has to come out again. Okay, so those caps need to go on top of it so that it looks nice and shiny. And before I do that, because I've taken it up, I'm just going to make sure that they're tight again. Uh, screwdriver for that one. This is not as tight as we want it, but it still goes. I just wish it would have stuck and the torque is so hard that I can't move anymore, but it still rotates. So I have to make do with that. Put it on top. Put it on top. Put our seat on top and well, uh, I should be done now. Soft closing toilet seat done. Here's the peasy, anybody can do it. Uh, just go get a sofa, go to any store. That screw is kind of town, it's a little bit um, annoying. The staff over there definitely need some training. And um, I think screw needs to train their staff in there. But those the people over there were really appalling. There was a lovely girl though, she was trying to help me, but you can tell she's new. So I asked her that I wanted to fix one. Uh, she decided to ask one of our colleagues, and those ones just said, No, we don't have it. You know, they, they, they didn't say they didn't have it, they say they, <laughs> they're all made. All toilet seats are to be uh, fixed from under it, and I just know that's um, not true. Um, I don't want to be rude on YouTube, so I know that's not true. So I called, well, to be fair, I sent a Twitter message to um, Screwfix, they didn't come with the reply back in time. Um, I went on their website, I did find one uh, with a code of um, 2401. K, um, and I had a hint, I had a um, gut feeling that that's the top fix. So um, I called them again, I called School Fix nationally on the phone, even though I was in the store. So I called on my mobile and I described what I wanted to them. There was a lovely, lovely lady on the other end of the phone. She helped me out and she gave me um, two codes and said I can go for any of those ones. She asked me my price range, I thought I was going to go for the cheapest one. Uh, she gave me this one, uh, which is actually the same one as I found, so I'm really happy that uh, she matched what I found, that was really good. Um, but the staff, oh god, really, they need to be started. I was, I was there for quite a while, you know, I had to send a Twitter message, I had to make a phone call, I had the lovely way to put me on hold before she got those calls for me. I really wish I had her name, I would have given her a shout out. So uh, the lady that answered me on the phone, 
in Screwfix, uh, the National Office or whatever their call centre is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish I had the name, I would have said thank you. Um, formerly with the name and say, I did say thank you well, at the end of the phone conversation. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much to all the staff in um, Screwfix Canning Town at around um, mm -hmm. 6, 7, 30 p.m. Um, today, uh, what's today's date? I think today is actually 22nd. Yeah, the 22nd of January uh, from 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m., half 7 to 8. Yeah, 